right there in your home especially as an african you know that sometimes things will not work you know in certain regions hey guys welcome back <laughs> so i was sitting here wondering what kind of businesses can can you do starting from home especially as an african that will cost you less overhead cost and all of that and i dropped a list of 11 some of them i have done in fact number 10 is the one that made me a millionaire right and number 11 is my absolute favorite so let's go straight into this video and let me tell you what it is about i have 11 of them 11 businesses you can do from home even as an african even if you want to start any year even right now right so let's go straight into the video now business is a lot of work right there has been a lot of recession globally in my country it's been it's been not just recession it's been a free fall of a naira and a lot of people have asked themselves how are we going to go families have gone without eating for days many families have not been able to send their children back to schools especially those who their children have been in private schools the government schools are not they feel that it's not giving them what they want even though they are free education and it has been a whole lot of stress and pressure for a lot of families marriages have gone down the drill a lot of families have broken because of lack of finance and you know everything that goes around finance and i ask myself there are certain businesses that we can actually start right from home we don't need to go get an office and pay somebody some rent and deplete your family income you don't need to you know pay extra light bills extra internet bills just write what you have in the house you can start it and then i drew up this 11 list just now and i thought i should come share with you because at the end of the day it's about making money leveling up on, on our income and living the life that we deserve to live right so i'm going to go straight into that number one is food business i'm sure you say uh -huh, i knew food business but please the model that you do it is very important look at first of all the market you want to serve you want to serve corporate organizations you want to serve people who want to do small parties or small groups you have uh, those who do webinars seminars and conferences do you want to serve people who just want uh, small chops and drinks do you want to serve people who want smoothies juices fresh you know fresh vegetable juices maybe people who want to lose weight so you have to be very sure of the audience you want to serve so that you can reach them within your social circle first and then serve them preparing these things from the home very important and please many is a food business doesn't mean that you don't cost it it means that you cost it aside the, the the resources you're spending for family so that you don't mix up your business money and your family money so that in no time this business can also contribute to the family right and still sustain itself very important number two business i think you can start from home anywhere is hair braiding so it is your skill you don't need anywhere anybody can come to you you get to your um, balcony or your veranda and then people can come there you make their hair whether it's attachment or weaving or fixing hair women would always want to look good right even makeup people can come to your house to make up so everything that has to do with beauty that you don't need a large crowd per time they can always come to your home and you can get them sorted yeah so people that are watching me are already doing these businesses so i'm sure you can tell tell me in the comment section which of these businesses are you already doing you know and even if i don't mention yours tell us more businesses that you're currently doing from home that people are not even looking at because at the end of the day we are here to support each other right number three business you can start working from home is online product reviews i took my time to say this one because this is so this is such a money machine, but a lot of Africans are not taking advantage of it. All you need is your smartphone, your internet, and, you know, and the products that you think you want to review. So let's say, for instance, recently I've been raving about Hapik, right? Because it is a cleaning agent that I have used for years, bought it, but I just discovered recently that I have been underutilizing that product. Because Hapik needs you to smear it on the surface you want to clean and leave it for a while. You come back and it does the cleaning just like they promised 10 times more effective than detergents and all of that and this is it if you know this product i love happy so imagine i keep doing this for every product that i actually use every day at the end of the day i buy them happy doesn't know me right but then you know i use them and i can tell the miracle they do for my home and imagine you do that for every product you use and companies will definitely discover you 
online product reviews, don't look for the money yet. Just start it. Look for your best toothpaste brand, your best rice brand, your best shoe brand, your best cookie brand, your best sweets and chewing gum brand. Just talk about them. Be very, very, very detailed about what you love about them and all of that. And don't be afraid to also tell the side effect or the downside of them because that's what reviews are about. That is a money machine. Money machine. All you need is choose a platform, maybe Instagram or YouTube or anywhere and promote brands. With time, other brands that you never thought are watching will come for you. Africans, let's do this. Okay, another thing I think you can do from home is babysitting and crutch. You can start this business from your home. If you're somebody who that already has small children of not yet of school age, well, people will say oh, school age depends, but crutch. You know, and then people in your neighborhood, you're always home, maybe you're not a same mother, or you don't even have to be an same mother, but you have young children, and you have an in, in-house help or nanny, you can let your nanny serve other children as well. Two or three nannies, you know, you employ them and they take care of other children within your neighborhood. There are other mothers and fathers who are willing to release their children to come to your home to be taken care of by your nurse who has to be a professional by the way while they are at work or anywhere else and be grateful that because you're their neighbor is closer to them to pick up their children and they will pay good money so it has to it's usually a monthly subscription you can do that business and grow into a full school i know a lot of people who have started it so i'm not even telling you something that is not sustainable i don't have the time for that it is things that work that we're talking about in this channel the next business you can start from home is is <laughs> book editing and book proofreading the very first business i ever registered in my life was editing and proofreading business i started in 2009 and it's a business i have grown <laughs> I have grown into millions, worked with a lot of people from across the world, served a lot of clients, right? I completed editing a book just last night, a very interesting book about love and betrayals and all of that. And it hit me that I have never had to, per se, pay for an office these 13 years I've been doing this business. I have used offices people offered me for free, but I've majorly worked from the confines of my home. Because at the end of the day, for you to edit and concentrate, you need to be in a space where there's no noise, no music, no interferences. So sometimes it's in your space. Sometimes it's on top of my bed. I'm reading and I'm correcting what I am known for. And it's a, it's a, it's a, for me, it was a hobby that I turned into business quickly when I saw the need. Book editing and, and proofreading, you have a keen eye for spotting errors, written errors, and you are allowing it to waste. I don't understand. And there are not a lot of book editors in Africa. What are we waiting for? And our industry is still unregulated. There's nobody that is saying, oh, this is how much you must charge. This is how it should be. We just have ranges. Some people have all kinds of costing. You can choose your audience. You can choose your genre. You can choose the people who you want to edit for. You know, you can choose the right the kind of writers you want to edit for and place your price and make a hell of money from it. And for me, for now, I don't even focus on just editing by myself. I work with a lot of professionals now for reviews, developmental editing. So there are no there are no jobs that I can come to my company that I cannot handle just because I paid attention to what was working and started out afraid alone, but then grew it. Yeah, so why haven't you started your book editing business? If you need help, I will drop in the comment section. You, my course link is there. Start off right now and get yourself to the millions doing what you absolutely love and grow to a point where you can outsource and grow an agency where you might not even be involved with people are delivering value on the name of your company and you are getting all the accolades. If you know what I mean? And you can be the source where somebody is grateful. A beginner, um, a, be a beginner editor will be grateful that they met you because you keep giving them jobs to serve your clients and they are super grateful that they are earning from you. Another business you can work from home is video editing a lot of people are making videos these days video is a life wire of content creation right now whether it's in the corporate world and the personal branding and all of that people are creating courses creating reels creating tiktok videos and all of that so most of them don't know how to piece together interesting videos and edit them most of them can't even understand editing software at all for some people it looks like algebra <laughs> So you can do this. All you need to do is to put yourself out there in public using a platform to advertise your skills, right? And then people will start outsourcing 
their video editing after they are done recording they are source their video editing to you it could even be people who do youtube videos so they do their video then they send to you to work to do the you know magic around editing for them before they upload yeah so what have you been waiting for <laughs> oh my gosh that is one business you can start from home another one is content creation whether on social media or youtube people can as well pay you to create you know videos for them or you know edit it and upload for them or they can do the video you edit and then you manage their platform so you upload them optimize it do all the search engine optimization put the title in and everything maybe do a little bit of research for them to make sure that their video will be discovered easily on youtube imagine being somebody's youtube manager you don't need an office you don't need like a, anything to start it's putting yourself out there to let people know that you do it do jobs for one or two people for free and people can trust you the referrals will just keep coming because everybody needs a video to market their skill to market their expertise to market their courses to build their brand and all of that so don't be sleeping on these opportunities oh don't don't guys these are things you can do working from home. You don't need to go anywhere. Nobody needs to collect your money, right? And it's when the jobs come in, you price, they pay, you start the work. So in most cases, you're even paid ahead of time. So what are we waiting for, right? Your home can be an industry and that's how your home can be an asset. Because even if you built your house by yourself and it's not making you money, it's still a liability. Has anybody told you? <laughs> The next one you can do from home is teaching people. Online training, online teaching, online coaching. <laughs> I mean, it's a no-brainer, guys. Instead of just consuming content, just watching whatever other person is doing, there's something that you know. It could be your local dialect. Somebody is living in your region who is a foreigner who wants to learn your language. You can actually get them on a call and teach them specific times of the day, of the week, and they pick up this language faster than they imagined. It could be your expertise. It can be something you have done as a job for years. Somebody else is about to get into that career and needs somebody to show them. Somebody who has results to show them the ropes. Teach what you know. Teach what you have researched over time. Teach what you are an expert at. Teach what you're doing. Don't assume people know what you know. That's another problem. People assume a lot. If people assume that, oh, why would I let you somebody have to make a goosey soup? It's very easy to make. And there are a lot of recipes online already. You are deceiving yourself. Teach what you know. You'll be shocked. Absolutely, guys. Absolutely. Teach what you know. Don't let this syndrome of, oh, I think everybody knows it. I think nobody will pay me to catch you. That's on another thing, right? That's another problem to deal with your mind first. But if you come to my online coaching, I'll teach you how to reframe your mind for success. Yeah, because everybody who needs to do business needs to first work on their mind. Actually, if you live in Africa, the truth is that poverty is ingrained in your physique. You might think that your baby girl, your baby boy doing well. Poverty is the reason you're making certain decisions that you may not even know. Okay, now, number what? Nine. Start a small scale poultry farming. If, you're com if you have, if where you live, you have a large compound to which you can build something a bit away from the house, you know, because of your health, you can build a large poultry business right from home. A lot of the Africans do this, but they did it on a small scale for a long time, which is not sustainable. So you have to look at how to expand it over time. But this is something you can start right now. December is almost here. People are going to be buying a lot of chicken, beef, um, turkey, lamb, all of those things. If you have them, you're cultivating them, especially poultry, you're going to be selling. Whether it is broilers or um, layers, right? You're still going to make sales. Guys, you're going to make money this season. This season is for your money. Okay? So chicken is real business. People will eat chicken no matter what happens. No matter the recession. People eat chicken and chips, chicken and stew, chicken and everything. Chicken, 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 chicken. So if you're doing chicken business, it can be a short stay, a short income bust. Especially towards the end of the year because of the whole chicken, chicken and Christmas. You know how we attach chicken to Christmas? You know, all of that. So try it. Make sure it's is profitable for you because at the end of the day it's about profit right make sure it's profitable for you when you're selling so you see people who um, who start running chicken or especially broiler you know maybe six 
seven weeks or six weeks or eight weeks to Christmas just because they want to cash out in Christmas. Yeah, this possibility of them selling it in Christmas and after Christmas is there. So you can just invest a little money and start that business and cash out your money and decide what I want to do it again. So the gang gang gang, the tent business, which is the one that actually made me a millionaire, right, is <clears throat> and the truth is that you can work from home. Do you know what business it is? Writing. Guys, the first ever million, actually 1.2 million that I made was because I was to write. Guess what I was writing? Not a book. Not it's not a book, no. I was to write and I and I wrote a website content and company profile for a company. Not even a company, for an NGO. <clears throat> yeah. So you're there, you know how to write. People always compliment your writing. And you're still broke. I know, I know, I know that you can have in demand skills and still be broke. I am somebody that can have lived it, right? But I think you have to look very closely at the things you're not doing about pushing yourself out there with your writing skills. Writing is always in demand. Have you discovered? And it's at the base of every industry. Whether you want to make a movie, if you want to make a movie, you need to write it first. You need to write a script. In fact, I've been getting a lot of script writing, you know, inquiries recently, and I wish I could. Um, I had a skill or interest in that. If you want to make, if you want to write a book, right, is writing. If you want to, you know, um, start a business, you need to write down your plans and your vision and your mission and your plan, everything in writing. You want to market yourself on your website, you have to write a certain way to get your website to convert. Writing is always in demand and is a million over skill all the time. No matter where you are, no matter which industry you are, no matter what country you live in, no matter where you live, writing is a multi-million dollar skill. Don't underrate it. And to my final point, which I think is my most favorite right now, is YouTube content creation business. <laughs> Did you see me coming with that? See, YouTube have changed my life. I know there are a lot of people watching this and say, oh my God, but she just started. I actually have three channels on YouTube. And YouTube has made me learn a whole lot over a short period of time. And I highly recommend it to you, especially if you're an African. We need a lot of more black people content on the internet, right? We need more. How do you feel when you go to some platforms, you know, video sharing platform, non-video sharing, maybe software company design um, platforms that you can't find black people's pictures. You can't find our black people's video that you can use for like Vietnami and all of that because we're not doing enough if you're doing if we're working so hard but we're, we're not putting ourselves where we should be a lot of more black people need to put themselves out there and see youtube is a gold mine even if i say so myself and that's going to lead me to doing another video after this i'm going to tell you why you need to start a youtube career in 2023 you need it Trust me, look out for it after this time. I'm going to record that video. I'm going to give you up to 11 reasons why you need to start your own YouTube channel. It's, it's not just a channel. It's a YouTube content creation business. See, if it's not business, you can't find me there. So you know what I'm telling you is for real. YouTube, you can do from home. You can edit your video from home. In fact, I use my mobile phone to record, to edit, to you know color grade to whatever i do everything on my phone guys so what are you waiting for you love to talk you have a skill you have an expertise you have a lifestyle that you think people are not putting out there share 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 please there's no gain in being selfish about what will bring value to another person in this world at the end of the day we are all together so home-based businesses you can start this 11 are a good place to start yeah i can give you up to 100 if i sit down i can write up to 100 but this is just a starter and if you're currently doing a home-based business please drop it in the comment so that we can read and also interact and i'll be so happy to see you dropping a comment and telling us more ideas about how you have made money from home because I was able to walk and tell you things I've done personally most of the time and why it can work for you. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please give it a thumbs up and please subscribe if you haven't. And let's talk about how why you should start your YouTube channel business in a bit in the next video. Alright, cheers!